Is it working? So this says that we're live again. And let's see. Oh, this is just not the way. I did this last Monday. I came on here and I went live briefly just to make sure this was going to work. I think it's when you create an event. So for me to try to set this up, oh, it is working. It's working now. Yay. So I can't create an event, I guess is the thing. I'm not going to be able to um, say that on Mondays at 10 o'clock, this is what we're going to do. So we're just going to have to assume that every Monday at 10 o'clock, I'll show up. Yay! Happy New Year, right? Oh my goodness. Hello, welcome. I'm Diane and um, Facebook's not always my friend. I apologize. So. I got to jump into this kind of quick because now I'm behind and people don't necessarily like that. So I'm sorry, but if you gave up on me and you get back here later, thank you. I'm, I'm very grateful that you stuck with me. So today is January 3rd, 2022. And since it's January 3rd, that means that beginning tomorrow, January 4th, you can start shopping out of the new mini catalog and also celebration begins so for every 50 or 100 dollars in product purchase you're able to get some uh, freebie items out of the celebration catalog through february so since it's a new year and a new week and a new catalog we're going to start today with a new stamp set this is one of the new stamp sets, and this is the one that I had talked about before, Love and Happiness. Great for Valentine's, but it also had other sentiments in here, which was what caught my eye, because you can use this for anniversary, weddings, um, just to the one I love. I liked it because I'm always looking for anniversary and wedding sentiments. The different thing about this set is, in this suite, and I did not get the paper, that is in this suite yet. I might, but I do have um, Valentine paper left from previous years. And to be honest, a lot of the designs are similar to what will be available to you beginning tomorrow. The only difference is the colors. So like for example, the paper I'm gonna use on my second card, hopefully, um, uses flirty flamingo and real red. There's, <clears throat> and actually that might've worked with, um, petal pink too. There's a paper in the new mini that's very similar to this, but it's not flirty flamingo, but it has little tiny hearts. So I thought I could probably use this paper today and get away with it. So the difference with this set being that we've had other font sets before that don't have images that go with it. This has a coordinating hybrid embossing and die set. So here's our embossing folder. This is the bouquet of love embossing folder. And we can use this to just emboss paper or we can use these coordinating dies and die cut an embossed heart out of our card slot. There are, small, so there are also some additional dies in the set that we can use to die cut our, um, our greetings out of, as well as some cute little flowers. I did cut some of those out because I wanted to see what they look like and how I might be able to use them. A little heart. Um, I think this is supposed to be another heart, and this prob probably coordinates with some of the uh, designer series paper, but I, I don't know that I'm going to use that because it just doesn't work with anything that I'm making today. So 
So, what I did was let's put those pieces up there. We might use those later. Um, I made this one, and this is the one we're going to make today. So this is a book binding fun fold card. We have made this in the past. The reason I ended up choosing this style of card was because when I cut my my um did I cut my heart out of my embossed panel here. For some reason I didn't make it a full four by five and a quarter sheet of paper. It came out kind of square. And I just figured, let's go with it, right? So that reminds me, do any of you come up with a word of the year? So last year was the first year that I was introduced to that, where you select a word that you're kind of mindful of and you focus on throughout the year. And I thought about it last year, and I don't think I ever really did pick a word because everything I thought of, you know, of course, like um, pray, love, give. Those are all parts of my personality that I try to do all the time anyway. So they weren't really um, a word that I thought I could be mindful of because I am. I just am mindful of those words. So maybe my word last year was thoughtful because I thought about a word all the time, but I didn't really come up with one. But this year I did. And this year my word is opportunity. And, and I don't necessarily mean business opportunity. I mean that Everything that we do throughout the day gives us an opportunity. And this card was a perfect example. When I die cut my cardstock out and it didn't meet the size that I usually use, it was an opportunity for me to use it in a different way. So that's going to be my word this year. I'm going to find the opportunity in my actions and my, my decisions that I make even if they don't come out the way I wanted them to, it's an opportunity to try something new. So, having said that, these are the dimensions that I used on this card. I started with a piece of real red, and it is four and a quarter inches by 11 inches. We're going to score this at four and a half and five and a half on, of course, the long side. Let me get these out of the way. Oh, by the way, this is the January shopping code. And when you shop my online store and enter the January code, isn't that weird that it came out art in the middle? I loved it. These are automatically generated codes. I, I don't get to make those up. Um, I thought that was pretty fun. So, for um, my shopping thank yous this month, when you spend $50 in my online store, I'm going to, let me get a package out here. Oh, I'll send you a thank you of, oh, not that. Yes, I was, I was really organized. If you happen to see last week, I did go on real briefly. Like I said, I was trying to make sure this was going to work. And I shared, um, oh, maybe I took them out. Um, I shared my pre-order. The stuff that I had ordered out of the new catalog that came right when it was too late to get anything in there before Christmas, so... Um, where my little black dots went, I have no idea, but that's the free $50 thank you gift this month. They're here somewhere. We'll run across them as we're crafting. And for every, um, or when you spend $100 in my online store, you're going to get those free matte dots and a Wink of Stella fun glitter pen. We're going to use that too. Oh. Oh, I hope I didn't put those away already. So, back to the card. Let's move these things out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Four and a half and five and a half. We're going to score four and a half. 
use your sc scoring blade and not your cutting blade. Four and a half, five and a half. We'll need a piece of red for the front that we're going to emboss. This is four and three eighths by four and one eighth. And I also cut a piece of just basic white for the inside to put my inside message the same dimensions. And then once we fold our, our card base here, and give it just a little crease. We're gonna have this little section can you see in between the folds. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there we go. And I'm gonna emboss another little panel and add to that. And so this is three quarters of an inch wide by four and one eighth. And so there's our embossing and cutting. And then this little fold here is where our card is going to bend backwards and that's our book binding. What I did on my ends, and you can do this with scissors, I have the one tag top punch here and I just fit my Where she did. This is two layers of cardstock, so it's a little bit thicker. I put my ends just in the punch. My computer is, the fan is going and it sounds like it's just working so hard. I don't know why. Maybe Facebook's sucking the life out of it too. And I just cut a little point, and actually I didn't get that to the very end, so scissors probably would work better. This is kind of thick. And just cut a little notch out. And I did that because... Very crooked. There we go. And you can do the same thing on the other end of the scissors just by putting a little line up the center and then from your corner to the top of your snip. And I'm horrible at doing this this way. And then from the crease to the top of your snip. And I did that because I wanted to add a little bit of ribbon on my card and I didn't want it to stick out too far over top of the edge of card. Okay. And I have little pieces of red everywhere. Okay, let's get the embossing and cutting done so we can just put this together because it's not really a hard card to make. When we die cut, <laughs> right on there too. When we die cut our heart out of the middle, we're going to end up with a panel and we're going to save that. We can either add that back into our panel or use a different paper just as an accent. And in the new, uh, I take that back, it's not new, it's in the annual catalog, we have some Mother of Pearl. specialty paper, and this has a really pretty shimmer in it. That's what I used to cut the um, <clears throat> heart out that we're going to inlay. All right, let's get the big guy out here. I'm sorry, we're going to shake a little bit here. This is a thick embossing folder, and so you'll have to um, work out the sandwich that your die cut machine um, handles the best. For me, that's using the um, thick blue plate and my card base. That's just what works on my machine. And so I'm going to take that little square of red 
I guess I should have shown you that before I put the cut and emboss right in our face, right? Now because the die is inset into the little, um, there's a groove in here that it just fits in perfectly. You're going to want to put it on that side and not the other side. This, um, I, don't, I don't even think it'll stay in there. Let me see. Uh, it shifts around an awful lot. So you're going to be able to tell easily that the side with the Stampin' Up! logo and the line on the front is the side that the die fits into. And it just lays in there. <clears throat> and then we can line our cardstock up on the center of that. that up and then I'm going to just flip it over and kind of take a look and see if I have it centered. Actually that's not half bad. It might be a little bit crooked. The one that I was playing with yesterday. Oh because I messed up the first one that I did and I had to recut a piece. Oh, that wasn't nice. Come on. Nice, but it took me a long time to get it centered to where I liked it. Yeah, I went to put it on the card yesterday and I was like, oh, I should probably trim this off. It has a little bit of a rough edge on this side. And I hadn't changed the blade in my... In my um my cutting my trimmer I hadn't changed the blade in there for a while and yes I did just move my paper so I was getting rough edges so when I trimmed it down I made it too small and then I had to go back and make another Remember to put your embossing folder into your emboss machine with the folded edge first. Slides around on my mat. Now we can pop the center out and we have an extra little heart. And that's what I was hoping to make our second card with it, if I have time. So now I need to, I don't know if we're going to have time since I didn't get started until too late. I'm going to take that little three quarter inch piece of red and I only want to emboss it. I don't want to cut it. So I'm just going to put that over here in this little floral part of the embossing folder. Run that through. There's our little embossed edge. And I also wanted, um, out of the Mother of Pearl paper, I need a heart now so that we can inlay that. And get my other plates back in order here. And I'm going to use that same stitched heart that was in my embossing folder. And I'm just cutting out a heart from the pearl paper. And then the only other cutting that we'll do will be probably the small heart. Well, unless I change my greeting there. And we will die cut 
or greeting out. I can do that with my mini. I tried yesterday. My mini cut and emboss. The one plate got cracked. And I didn't know if it was going to work. So I tried yesterday. And it does. It works. I'm just, I have to replace that. When I put my order in for my pre-order, I had forgotten about it and did not get a new one yet. So, my little dies away so I don't lose them. Same with my embossing folder. You can use this just as your embossing folder also and not put the die in there and um, should probably show you how that comes out. Huh? That would be a nice thing to do. It's just not going to cut the center heart out. So I hope everyone had wonderful holidays and that you got to spend time with the people that you love. We missed Thanksgiving with the kids and stuff because of the you-know-what virus. But um, <clears throat> Christmas was much better, and I got to have my family with me. So for me, that was my best gift. New Year that everyone has good health and that you can be happy. And I think that's probably the general consensus with everybody is wishing good health in the new year. So if we don't put the dye in there, we get that. You see, I, I didn't put it in there straight, so I would need to trim that. And this is beautiful in itself. I'm going to use my other um, little heart and show you a, a technique that I just was playing around and it worked. Okay. So let's get our little die cut heart here. Now you can either adhere this directly to your card or use dimensionals and pop it up. My original one, I decided to just make a flat card, and there's that beautiful sunshine glaring off of everything. And so I did just glue my embossed panel down and glued the mother of pearl directly in, and then my greeting I also glued flat. So you can use, as I said, dimensionals. <clears throat> I think I'm going to glue again. And have everything flat before I start putting my card front on I'm going to add a little bit of glue to this inside one inch section here I probably should have changed my glue bottle out it was getting a little low yesterday and we're just going to crease this down and that's how we make our our front flap so that it looks like a book. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We want to use liquid glue because remember we're using an embossed panel and so sometimes the dimension of that paper doesn't always work well with, doesn't always play nice. It's better if you have some glue that gets down into those nooks and crannies there. For this book part we could use um the tape so we'll just add this on here and before i adhere my little strip on the side I want to also 
put my notches in. And so I'm just going to do the same thing. that embossing on there where my my little cut is. Boy, I don't know why my computer's making that noise. It's a little scary. I'm not going to lose that. I do not have the money for a new computer. It needs to continue working. Be strong, computer. Be strong. That's what I was afraid of. And really, I needed to trim off and then put my notches. I'm going to go off center on this one. There we go. That's better. Better, better. There is, um, in this suite, in the new catalog, there is a pretty real red linen ribbon. I'm going to take that mother of pearl heart that we just cut out and inlay that into the die cut center. <clears throat> I do not have the new red linen ribbon and so I went in search of any real red ribbons that I have and this is the reason that I have not ordered the linen ribbon because I have all of these various real red I have the <laughs> so whatever I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just showing you this because use what you have now you don't have to get everything all at once so we have just solid ribbon and then after all that I went with white anyway and I don't remember what um, what sweet that one was from but that's kind of pretty with the white trim and that might have that's a little wide and then the satin ribbon of course I think we have satin ribbon in every color Sheer, one of my favorites. This would be perfect on here if you want to use red. And we have the braided trim. And if you had shopped with me a couple months ago, this is one of my thank you gifts. This was from the Playful Pets suite, but it's real red with white. And so if you're just using maybe basic white cardstock in the middle, this would be pretty on there and the ruched ribbon, which I have several spools of this because I just love it even for packages. So because I used the Mother of Pearl though, I wanted something a little bit more shimmery and I had still some of this um, Snowflake Splendor, which has been discontinued, but if you shop the clearance, maybe you got a little bit of this or have some left from your winter cards. And I'm happy I got this set right when I did because I do have hubby's birthday coming up and I have my son and daughter-in-law's anniversary coming up. So even before Valentine's Day, I have several needs for this. Well, I, I guess I have other stamps that I could have used, but I'm going to use it this one because I like it. it. has It does really have some cute little messages in there. Oh, come on, fingers. It's cold outside and the fingers are not cooperating. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And I'm just tying a knot on the front and then we'll even these edges up.
Now we need our inside and we need a piece of basic white to do our reading on the front and real red ink and let's get out those so my first one says to the cutest couple ever which I think is what I'm going to use on the kids' anniversary card, just because they are a cute couple. I always take the cutest pictures together. Um, let's do on this one. I think I'm going to do this as an anniversary. Here's to another year of love and laughter and happily ever after. Here's two, it's this one. So this will be my insert. I have a scrap paper here because I have not used this stamp yet. So I like to just wipe in case there's any residue left on here from being packaged. And I also will stamp on my grid mat, which we cover up because it makes the camera go all wonky, but I want to make sure that that I put my sticker on straight, and that's pretty doggone good. I'm happy with that. I think one of them I did get a little crooked. So it is best to check, and I still like to use my mat to get a nice solid impression. Now the, well you know what, I should probably pick a different one because the die that's in here does not fit, it isn't long enough for that one to be different for I'm going to use this one. I'll just use another one because I don't like the other greetings with this inside. I forgot about that. Because this one is kind of a long... Oh, where did I put the block? I just have that thing on out there. I don't really know how things disappear so quickly, but they do. It's like there's gremlins. And they just come in here and take things. So now, because I'm using this one, it's not going to fit in the center of my heart. away before I get it all over everything. Oh, right, there's the block of grief. See? And then those little gremlins put it back so that you think you're losing your mind. Yes. If they like messing with you. I'll just use my seal plus to add this to the center of my card inside. I'm trying to think um, 
what die I have that might cut that out narrow. And then we can layer it up on top of the heart. And I did pull out um, all the little red embellishments or um, at one point we had epoxy hearts, <clears throat> excuse me, and because they are the epoxy, you can use Stampin' Blends to color those whatever color you want, as we have done in prior videos. So, right now we need to get that greeting cut out. Oh, goodness gracious, and I have dyes here. Yeah, so um, I'm going to continue doing my Mondays. And as we experience today, I may not create the event because I'm not going to fight with whatever Facebook decides they're doing. Oh, we could use this one. This is the many messages dies. And um, <clears throat> I have used this before because this makes nice long die cuts and you don't have to use this to cut the whole page of dies out this works great for stuff like this one would be perfect yes if uh, it was long if I had put it on a longer paper I could have used that really long skinny one but this will work just just long enough. Um, what was I saying? Oh, my schedule. Yep, so we will continue with Mondays. I will continue using um, YouTube on Fridays and I don't know that I'm going to continue doing 15 minute videos on a Friday because once I get talking and explaining and things, it, it's never 15 minutes and I'm not really trying to uh, disillusion anyone. They look at it and say, oh my God, our video is an hour long and it's supposed to be a 15 minute card. Well, the cards can be done in 15 minutes, but because I chatter so much, the videos are not 15 minutes. Maybe I could um, discipline myself and not talk so much, but I don't think that's gonna happen. But we'll just do some fun craft. Maybe that'll be it. Fun crafting on a Friday. But that's not necessarily all Stampin' Up! products that I do on my YouTube channel. So um, I do different things on there, whether it's alcoholing or maybe I never did get the foil last year. So I'd like to do some foiling. We played with the Gilded Flakes, but we didn't use the hot foil machine. So that's what I kind of use my YouTube for. Oh, I missed the end of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then Wednesdays. On YouTube, I'm going to work on my journals. And the first one being Alice in Wonderland. So those will all be my, oh look, I ended up with a nice little label there that we can save for another card. That one too, actually. Oh, that's kind of small. Yeah, so if you enjoy journaling or you've considered making a journal, those will all be at 10 o'clock. I like to do my videos at 10. Just works out that way and they're all recorded so you can always watch them later. And the 25th of each month at noon, and I did those at noon because I thought maybe um, it would be nice on a lunch break for folks if they want to just sit down and get an idea for a Christmas card. I will continue Christmas in the making the 25th of each month, and that is those are all subject to rescheduling 
if we happen to be on vacation or it is a holiday weekend, um, you know, like my family is my my first responsibility, my first and foremost concern. And so if we have a family vacation or a family holiday or something like that, I may reschedule those, but we will continue to craft in 2022. And as I said, you know, if you're into journaling or you're interested in starting one, join me Wednesday over on YouTube. So we have, um, these are old, old from Stampin' I never, I did never use them. So whatever you might have lying around, and actually I kind of like it with another pump and I use a couple of these. I don't even know where I got these. No idea. I'm pretty sure I didn't buy these because this is, this looks like it was before my time as a demonstrator. Let's see, they're not going to stick very big, so I can try first and see if I like it. I think I like the little one. Yep, and I thought that my very first journal that I would share would be a boho journal because I've been saving little bits and pieces to do a boho journal. But I'm thinking it's not going to be. I'm starting actually with Alice in Wonderland. I've been saving um, whatever bits and pieces I can find for an Alice in Wonderland journal as well. So that's where we're going to go with that. Oh, it's kind of cute. But I'm going to glue those because since these are old, old, I don't trust them to stick to my embossed panel without a little bit of help. I always said I wish they put years on this stuff. I'd love to know how old these are. And there's my first card! It's our first card from the new mini catalog. And we have a little bit of shimmer on the Mother of Pearl paper, and a little bit of shimmer in my leftover ribbon, and there's some shimmer in these um, clear faceted gems. But these are not, I mean, we, we have clear faceted gems, but not like this. No year. Okay, so quickly, let me just show you what I did with those cards. Oh, those are the sizes in case you um, mm -hmm. Mr. Sunshine's not going to let that happen. No, it's not. There. Oh, why is it working on my hand? Is there? Okay. Here are the sizes for your book binding fun fold card. <laughs> so get a screenshot of that and you'll have that. If you're like me, I keep I keep a little folder and I just put all my measurements in there from my cards. Okay. So I took that little die cut heart out and I was thinking, what what can I do with that? You know, because I really want the um, flowers to stand out a little bit more. They don't really show up. And I found my, oh, I couldn't get that open before. I found my little chalk pencil, my chalk marker, and this, this is still available in the annual catalog, Stampin' Chalk Marker Pen. And so I just started to lightly go over this embossed piece, and it, it took a minute. Not gonna lie, it's not some. I mean, I did start out trying to just use the side of the marker and rub over it, but it was getting down in the crevices in between my embossed image, and I didn't really want that. So I just was looking for something to highlight the image, not really. Ooh, can you hear my stomach on? Not really, um, like if we were to stamp it. And if you have the white pigment ink pad, you probably could run that over the top of this image lightly and get the same effect. 
Actually, I meant to try that, and I didn't. So I was able to get my embossing to stand out a little bit more here. And as you can see, not a lot, but it makes the flowers more noticeable on the red. When you're looking at the new catalog too, um, take a peek at the host set in there. It's rather cute. And if you would like to be able to get that host set and you want to have a workshop, and this can be virtual or in person, either one. If you have some friends that like making cards and stamping. Um, Maybe you want to share your catalog and show them some of the stuff that we do. And we could work on setting up a workshop. We had a couple really fun ones last year. It feels weird saying that last year. Okay, so after I got my little image with some chalk marker on it, and I was thinking, oh, that's pretty, but it's not really very... Uh, very shimmery or anything, and that's when I put out Winka Stella, and that's when I decided that this would be our, my thank you gift to you this month, because I just went over the whole image then, just squeeze a little more down there, and for some reason, I, I liked how that chalk kind of went pinkish, but also have a little bit of shimmer to it. And I didn't care if I got the Wink of Stella down in the in-between embossed parts. It can shimmer on the raised image and behind it. The only thing, Wink of Stella is very hard to show you on camera. Winka Stella is just a pen that has a uh, liquid glue kind of in it. Oh, okay, let's get rid of that, maybe. And also some shimmer. Can you see it now? Mm hmm. And it was just like little dazzling diamonds on it. Well, that's another product dazzling diamonds. So I ended up then with my, my little heart. And I didn't know how I wanted to apply it to my card because I wanted it to stand out. And so I did cut a piece of that designer series paper, added it to a card base, or was going to, I haven't got that far. So I cut out a little um, rectangle. And then I made myself, I cut just an oval out of a piece of scrap paper. I laid it on my die cut rectangle and if you're using the new designer series paper you would probably want to use then the petal pink. I used flirty flamingo and a blender brush and blended some ink inside that circle just to give a little bit of a background and I thought I would add my my little embossed heart to the front of this and a greeting. So, because we're already over our hour, well really it's only been 45 minutes, but because Facebook put new time on my stuff today, um, I'll finish this card up and add it to my post later. So join me back here next Monday at 10 o'clock I'll try to put a reminder on my page, but it will not be a Facebook event because I think that's what's messing me up when I go to, to go live. So I also had pulled out these little square doilies because, you know, bringing back my childhood Valentine um, 
experiences here. I thought that would be pretty on a doily. And it might be. I might do that too and add another picture. So anyways, join me back here next Monday at 10 o'clock. I promise I'll start right on time. Wednesday at 10 over on YouTube, we're going to start Alice in Wonderland. And Friday over on YouTube, we're just going to have some crafting fun with paper. Y'all have a wonderful start to the new year. And look for those opportunities every chance you get. Bye, everyone. Thanks.